Good Saturday morning, everybody, and what a Saturday morning it has been. Welcome to the early morning edition of News Channel 3's Weather Overtime. We're going to skip a lot of the usual stuff that we talk about for this morning because of the fact that we have had a very active morning, not with weather, but with seismic activity going on. About 7 o'clock this morning, a little bit after that, a large earthquake occurred uh, in and around the area, well, moderate to large, about a 5.6 in Pawnee, Oklahoma. We actually have had a couple of earthquakes close to the Mid-South area, very uh, close to that uh, time frame here. And again, looking at the area close to and around uh, areas of in and around portions of the Mid-South, a little bit of activity going on uh, here, but not really doing too bad. The earthquake that we saw from earlier on this morning was all the way over here into and around portions of Oklahoma. The large red square that you see here, that is where we saw again the uh, earthquake taking place, but nothing directly in the Mid-South area, so definitely good news for where that's concerned, but the earthquake energy was felt in this location from the helicopter display uh, showing again the earthquake uh, information that we get from the helicopters out there. This is the line of information that we get uh, from Sari out there. The earthquake occurred on this black line at about 7.02 this morning and it took about two and a half minutes to travel to the mid-south and then that great big black swiggle right there is the amount of energy passing through the mid-south which is where a lot of people felt that. That goes all the way over to about 7.15 as that shaking the rumbling continues. It goes to the red line and continues to diminish over the course of the next 15 minutes and then finally starts to dwindle to where it's almost not even recorded anymore in the blue line. So it took nearly an hour for this area to calm down where it comes to uh, seismic energy. There was another earthquake, a, at an aftershock at about 8 o'clock, about 7.58 or so, and we felt that in the Mid-South on the helicopter system. That little black squiggle right there was the aftershock passing through the Mid-South, but that pales in comparison to what we saw in and around the area from the helicopter system. If you'd like to know more about this, great opportunity to learn more, again, from the Center for Earthquake Research and Information from the University of Memphis, available again uh, through the area here at memphis.edu slash CERI. Great opportunity to learn more about what's happening here. And, of course, we'll be keeping a very close eye on what's going on with the earthquakes in the Mid-South, how much energy we felt out of that uh, for this morning. We did manage to pick up one minor earthquake uh, a little while ago. Matter of fact, Friday night about 9.30, we managed to pick up an earthquake of about a 1.1 just up around the New Madrid area, close to Marston and just north of Portageville in and around the area, close to around uh, north of Dyersburg and Tiptonville, fairly well north of that, but probably not a major problem uh, to be seen there. So if you felt any Thing, please remember to go to the Center for Earthquake Research and Information and or the USGS and fill out a Did You Feel It report. Your information as a citizen scientist can help more information about what goes on in the Mid-South and beyond where it comes to studying how our planet works. You don't have to be a seismologist for that. You just have to fill out a small report page and the earthquake information data can be accessed again from the University of Memphis. Uh, again, Center for Earthquake Research and Information. So please feel out a Did You Feel It report if you did feel something out there. Take a look at that earthquake information. Again, a lot around the Mid-South area from earlier on. Nothing within about the last 24 hours except for that one minor earthquake up there. And again, what we are looking at, uh, the biggest earthquake that happened in close to the area were those clusters of earthquakes uh, in and around north central Oklahoma. It's that great big circle right there to where we saw, again, the earthquake happen just uh, about maybe a couple of hours ago. And that earthquake energy made its way across all the way into the Mid-South. So that is something that we are going to be uh, updating throughout the rest of the day today. Sunny skies, downtown Memphis, a little bit of rainfall in the forecast, but not showing up this morning on the St. Jude K research camera. How much longer do we have until autumn? Not long, 19 days and a few minutes as the time we record this. So looking at just over about three weeks of summertime left out there. Autumn, again, coming to an end, but the warmer temperatures took a bit of a break for a little bit. Not over with entirely. 86, our high yesterday, just below normal of 89. And 68, our, normal, our high, the low temperature yesterday, very close to the normal of 70 degrees. No rainfall yesterday. We have a deficit for the month, but a very nice surplus of one foot and over 
into around later this, uh, this morning, showing rainfall from Hermine. We'll talk about that, but not affecting the Mid-South area. Throughout the rest of the morning into this afternoon, upper 70s to lower 80s around lunchtime. Not too bad for early portions of September. Lower to mid-80s across the rest of the afternoon and into this evening. Temperatures in the lower to mid-80s as well. Heading into tonight, News Channel 3 at 10, upper 60s to lower to mid-70s. Still looking at mainly clear skies and overnight into News Channel 3 daybreak. Very quiet. A few lower 60s north of I-40, south of I-40, and along I-40, mid to upper 60s to lower 70s. Rest of the seven-day forecast, dry today, warm, temperatures just below normal, going above normal by just a bit into Sunday with still no rainfall expected here. And chances of rain for Labor Day, isolated only, not great chances, but higher than what we've seen for a while across the mid-south. Lower to mid-90s, just a bit above normal with isolated chances of showers and thunderstorms into the seven-day forecast. The 10-day forecast holds about the same thing into next weekend. And chances again for more showers and thunderstorms out there possible, just not a huge amount expected for much of the area. So if you have any plans for outdoors, just keep that in mind and make certain that you have, again, uh, indoor activities ready to go uh, just in case you need to get back indoors again, if at all possible, because we will be looking at some pretty warm conditions out there. But those chances of showers and thunderstorms, especially if you have uh, outdoor activities, that could be just a little bit of a problem. So please keep that in mind for safety's sake. Remember, if you can see lightning or hear thunder, you are too close and you need to get back indoors again as soon as possible just to be uh, on the safe side. The tropics, we still have a lot going on. Even though it's not anywhere close to the Mid-South, Ermine is a tropical storm and could become a hurricane once again. Now, this is what it looks like on radar and satellite. It's kind of tapered off a little bit, but we could be looking at more problems as we go into the next couple of days. The computer model is called spaghetti models, and you'll see why. In the next 24 hours show it mainly taking a northeasterly course, but watch what happens for the next 24 hours as the storm starts to kind of wind its way through the northwestern Atlantic just off the east coast, and that means it may be sticking around for a while, and that means we may see this storm system work its way with a lot of moisture pushing rainfall and moisture on shore with this system toward the Jersey coast and into the area up around New England. So this could be a very big problem for parts of the area up into and around uh, New England into the next couple of days, which means if you're vacationing there for Labor Day, I would call ahead and check your destination. Afterwards, the storm system moves on out, but it does not look like Ermine is going to be anywhere in a hurry to leave. It also looks like somewhere between here and where it's going next, there is the possibility we could be looking at another hurricane coming our way. Ermine could strengthen once again if it gets enough energy and it looks like it's a possibility so stay tuned for more on that don't forget to check out the forecast on radio coming up at country 92.5 oldies 102.3 on the eav network throughout the rest of the weekend and don't forget about our weather app go to the app store and search wreg weather tweet me with information if you felt the earthquake got weather pictures whatever you've got at facebook twitter instagram google plus soundcloud uh what else out there well we've got a whole bunch of them but too many to, to list at this point in time but again thank you to everyone who has tweeted in information about the earthquake we've gotten a ton of tweets out there uh, for this morning and thanks to everybody who has tweeted in uh, all sorts of information uh, from the mid-south area from this morning uh, reports of the earthquake being felt in downtown Blytheville, Arkansas, Tipton County, Tennessee. Uh, not everybody feeling something, but a lot of people across the Mid-South did manage to feel that earthquake energy passing through the area. Unfortunately, I didn't. I still haven't felt an earthquake since I've been here, and I've been here for nearly 20 years. So as of right now, nothing like that again and for everybody but we did manage to pick up something and if you felt something tweet me and we'll pass that along to everybody else through here at news channel three questions concerns comments ideas email me at austin.onic at wreg.com we'll have a forecast update coming up today after football and also tonight on news channel three at ten and of course more coming up on news channel three daybreak thanks for joining me for the morning edition of news channel three's weather overtime more coming up throughout the rest of the day with news channel three on air and online